All right, so that's again. Hello, welcome back. Hope we won't do multiple intros, but knowing me, I probably will. So we're trying to uh, navigate because Pokemon Horizons this week has a brand new opening, and we wanted to make sure that we got that. If we could isolate it, that didn't work out. So we're on the episode full. We have not seen the full episode yet, but I've skipped to the timestamp where the opening plays. We're going to go ahead and react to the video. If all goes well, you'll be able to see us uh, giggling like little girls while we watch some Pokemon. All right, are you ready? Yes. All right. anime with that huh <laughs> that's not, that's not no okay darren darren tell me that you saw that whole thing yeah that just destroyed the first opening yeah Thank okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah you looked a, you looked a little surprised there huh i was speechless i was like what is this is on? this isn't pokemon yeah no the colors are insane insane the insane I this think is the third part was the amethio with the core amethio trying to train up bro yeah that yeah bro, bro's redemption arc starts now and then they showed like some of the rest of them near the end i'm like damn bro why they why yeah, you gotta drip them out like that black rayquaza flying through the sky black rayquaza yeah was sick as hell. that was sick <laughs> so i mean it is pokemon horizons there's a chance that maybe we do see them catch up with Rayquaza in this arc. That would be really cool. Um, we do know that the heroes, they're kind of just okay with being tagged along. They do have their own autonomy. They will come out and do their own thing, but maybe they'll catch up with Rayquaza in this arc, or they just put that in the opening since Rayquaza is the first uh, hero that we found. Uh, I'm super super pumped, bro. We're going to definitely watch that yeah. all the way through and, again. And the song in itself a is really good. Very it's good really song. Good. Yama has done, I think more recently, Yama did one of the openings for the previous gundam uh i think i think there was slash oh, yeah. but it, it's a duo there's two different um singers in that one really good uh opening oh my lord like <laughs> so 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 darren this is why people watch anime <laughs> it's it's, oh, it's, sure. it's the openings bro all right so we'll catch back up with you when we do the full review but we want to at least put our goofy faces here uh and react to the opening prior uh prior prior to us actually watching the full episode because obviously we have to watch the opening to watch the episode, we'll see you shortly. Say bye, Darren. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Hello. We are back. We're not going to do a full intro. I almost forgot. All right. We just finished a brand new episode, episode 26 of Pokemon Horizons. We're super pumped. It was a nice, light episode. We'll get through the caption uh, of what happened really quickly. But first, as always, uh, we got packs. I went ahead and bought a single pack this week. Uh, I get paid Friday. I'm going to buy another box as usual. Luckily, Target had these single packs from this first set, so shouldn't be any surprises about what we get today. Lightning Energy, Bruxish, Cacnea, Sanda, I have too many Sando. Mareep, oh, this is not a good pack. <laughs> Wugtrio, no more Wugtrio. I'll take like a different one to so judge. All right, we got uh, Floatzel, we're still not there. All right, here we go. Uh, Team Stargrunt, Youngster, oh, God. We got a I palm got, a palm <laughs> I got yes. another palm could, That's, that's a good ending good. to it, at least. All right. Yeah. This isn't one of the good right. packs. We'll, we'll go ahead and buy some good packs. Soon. We got our nice sparkling 151 energy. Ooh. The little, the text Second one's it. nice. You know, I love that color. It is very nice. Pikachu, everyone's favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Inarguable. 
far fetched. An old amber, so you can get yourself a nice aerodactyl eventually. We got Pidgeotto. Ah, uh, yeah, that matches the Pidgeot art nicely. We got a is that Krabby? Kingler? Yes. Oh, Kingler. Sorry. I'll say Kingler. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. Don't, there we go. We'll do it. Snorlax, which looks a little bit similar to the promo. Sand Slash looks pretty sick, actually. Yes, I like yes. the purple background. Let's see. We have Muck. It's the first of the reverses. Hmm. We have Bell Sprout as the second, and we're ending it with hey, a Flareon. Ah, my favorite evolution. Your favorite evolution, indeed. Not terrible. Not terrible. All, All right. right, give me some Flareon. All right, so episode twenty-six was very simple. Terrapagos exploring its new environment after being stuck for thousands of years, presumably or decades, rather. Um. <sighs> Darian has a really nice theory uh, that I'm going to ask him about here in a second. But overall, this episode is mostly just Diane passing the belt that Lucius had down to Liko, fully explaining exactly what the situation is and what Rakua is going to end up being. Uh, Liko, now more resolved than ever, has not only kept Nyaoha, as you know, Nyao is a very fickle Pokemon, it, it does like being the center of attention, as cats often probably are. And Terrapagos is now going to be a new start line for her similar to how it was a couple episodes back when you know she first realized hey there's a pokemon dependent and now her goal and the goal of everyone else is to gather together find black ray quasa as it's the next uh pokemon that they have a lead on and overall they want to gather all six of the heroes so they can go to rakua and bring terapagos back to lucius's promised place darian what was very part of this very simple episode <laughs> Um, I like seeing Terrapagos explore the ship. I like the little look where the grandmother, Liko and her grandmother went through the memoirs oh, yeah. for Lucius. We saw what and, he looks like, too. Yeah. We got and, a definitive look. And? Yeah. And the new opening. <laughs> and the new opening. You'll see good. that one. You'll see that one later on. They'll say that before this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so... Tell tell us about your little crackpot theory on on Lucius and Nico. Well, we we've seen Lu Lucius a couple times, like a couple snippets here and there, with the the Galarian Fire episode where they mm -hmm. saw the smoke that made. But we actually got a picture of him when Liko pulled out of the memoir that the, her grandmother pulled out of the memoir book. Yep. I was like, you know, he kind of looks like Liko. He so does kind of look know, like not Liko. to be kind of a tinfoil <laughs> hat kind of thing, but there could be some kind of relation to that later yeah. on. Especially there was a thing after she put on his belt. Yep. Tropicos really kind of got had an image, but they, they yeah. but the the team did good. They didn't just say, "Oh, look yeah. at this image of Lucius side over Lico." Side. You know, yeah, they yeah. didn't do that. But Tropicos felt something, and yeah. uh, Dana really encapsulated the whole premise of Pokemon, where it's like, "Hey, even though these creatures don't fully understand speech, they do understand emotion." And Tropicos is now more bonded with Liko than before. And Liko obviously did her thing just like she did with Nyaoha. She did a full investigation around the ship, followed it around for like half the episode. And she now has a better understanding of the Pokemon. Uh, so next week, uh, we're in Galar, right? We're in Galar. Yeah. Tracking down yeah. Rayquaza. Uh, we're probably going to see, because of the preview, we're going to see the Explorers again for maybe a couple scenes. But overall, they're going to be in the Galar wild areas. Uh, we saw some curry pots. So it's going to probably be another light episode, which is fine. Uh, as, lo as long as we get something juicy uh, with the Explorers, it should be a, a fantastic episode. Uh, so again, like we've mentioned a couple times, you've probably seen our reaction to the opening. That's going to be most of this episode's uh, review, sadly, because there's not really too much going on. Um, I also forgot to mention that I think my favorite part of them exploring the ship was I knew eventually he'd get into Dot's room, and as soon as he did, Dot just yelled out for Lika. I was like, "Get this, get this thing <laughs> yeah. out of here!" Uh, she wasn't even recording a video, so I understand. My grandma came in here right now. I'd probably be like, "Hey, no, <laughs> not right now." <laughs> All right, so those are our thoughts on the brand new opening for Pokemon Horizons and Pokemon Horizons episode twenty six. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we're gonna get out of here, and we'll be back to open another pack next week. So until then, hope you take care. Bye, Darren. Goodbye.